my favorite thing about this church is it's Catholic, just like me. <laughs> You're not putting me six feet under. Get the, get the hell out. Is that coming Brent, from behind that building? This ought to teach you something, rich snob. Ah! Hey! Get your hands off him! Who the hell is that? Come on, Brent! We gotta go! Uh, get, get off! Get in the car! Let's get out of here! Awesome! I didn't even get to see the license plate number. And I barely saw the car. There's not much I can do. God help that man. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Afternoon, Tony. None other than your pal Fred here. Yeah? Fred, how you doing? Well, I'm doing pretty darn too well, pretty well, Tony. How about yourself? Well, my southern friend, I'm doing fantastic! <laughs> Just as I do suspect. Now, I'm sorry to tell you, Tony, but I have some news for you straight from the United Humanity Alliance. It's very urgent. Sounds good, Fred. What is it? Well, you see, we have acquired some information regarding the group of protesters. Uh, you're familiar with the increase in sweatshop labor production throughout the world, right? Very much so. It's all I've been hearing about lately. All right, good. Then you'll get the basic idea. You see, all the human rights violations have stirred up negative feelings of men and people, not just members of the Catholic Church, mind you. Local citizens in areas where sweatshop labor is, at its worst, have become infuriated and have started to protest as well. Well, that's good. We need as many people as we can get to protest human rights violations. I don't think you want these people on your side. These locals eventually formed a group known as WGBYU. WGBYU? What does that stand for? Well, I think it stands for We're Gonna Blow You Up. Oh, WGBYU, we're gonna blow you up. Well, that's... That's not very nice. Um, no, it's not. I see what you mean. So I'm guessing the WGBYU is a group of violent protesters? Correct. Go. The WGBYU have sent several managers of sweatshop labor companies to the hospital. I can heard on two occasions at least two of them are dead. In addition, a few innocent bystanders were harmed in their protest. Well, that's horrible. As much as I can't stand human rights violations, we can't be protesting with violence. My sentiments, exactly. Now listen, Cap. The UHA has received a tip that the WGBYU is planning something big to shut down the sweatshop companies. But it's going to be violent, isn't it? Well, we're not sure, but it, it's likely. It will probably be something violent. What's more is that some key members of the WGBYU just arrived in Scranton today. They're in Scranton? But why? I can't figure it out either, but we know for a fact that they're here. We think we know where they're located, too. I'll text you the address. It's an old abandoned building, one I'm sure you've seen around. Abandoned building, huh? I just saw some pretty suspicious activity near an old building. I'm guessing you want me to investigate? Precisely. We need to know exactly what they're planning. Even though we would appreciate them helping to bring down such shop labor, we can't have them harm innocent people in the process. Agreed. So I just have to find the WGBYU members, find out what they're up to, and urge them not to protest with violence? That's what you gotta do, and that's your mission. Oh, and one other thing, Cap. The WGBYU will be very suspicious of an unknown person coming to their hideout, and they'll probably think you're trying to harm them. Since the WGBYU is known for being violent, you might want to bring a buddy with you just in case some things get out of hand. Will do. I wouldn't want to be going back there alone. I know the perfect guy. Okay, thanks a lot, Fred. Have yourself a fantastic day. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, Captain. You take care of yourself now. Bye. Right? Okay, Tony. Bye now. <laughs> hey, Tim, what's going on? Well, if it isn't the captain, will it be my good man? Well, 
Make me a glass of some nice Italian red wine. After all, I'm a responsible drinker, and that's the only way to drink. <laughs> wine at a bar? Well, you're the captain. Wow, fancy new location. I'm glad business is good enough that you're able to move. Well, business has been better than ever. Wow, you know, that's just... That, oh, gee whiz. I'm real happy for you, buddy. You know what? Glass of wine's on me, Captain. Oh, 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 Tim, you don't have to do that. That's awfully nice of you. Well, actually, I have another favor to ask of you. What's that? Well, I have somewhere a little dangerous to head tonight, and uh, I could use a friend for backup in case things get rough. All right, let's get clobbered. Whoa, 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 not quite yet. Geez, he might make a good member of the WGBYU himself. <laughs> All right, well. You could even take my truck, but I'm driving. Oh, jeez, Tim, old buddy, I owe you one. Actually, you owe me two. Oh, yeah, sure, but I, I thought you said this one was, uh, yeah. I'm doing better than ever before. I still gotta make a living. What kind of establishment do you take this for? Uh, uh well, a, a fantastic one. A fantastic... Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, Tim, I should probably get this. It's probably my dad. No, oh, uh, tell the good commander I said hello. All right, Tim, we'll see you tonight, old buddy. <laughs> hello? Son, how are you? Fantastic, father. And you? Doing well. But I have some unfortunate news, son. Looks like I won't see you until tomorrow. That's okay, Dad. It turns out I have a mission I have to go on tonight anyway. But why aren't you coming home? Well, we are going to be in Scranton tonight, as planned. But the Vatican just received information that DeGridio's plans are nearing completion. So the Pope requested that Matt and I check up on DeGridio tonight before coming home. We found one of his hideouts in Scranton. So that's where we're headed. Sounds good, Dad. Just be careful. It's a shame we have to push back our little reunion one more night. But I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Likewise, son. We'll catch up tomorrow. Um... Hey, Dad. That question I had earlier about Grandpa. Oh, that, that's right. What is it, son? It's just that when he was in the hospital, I had trouble believing that he was really dying from pneumonia. I see. I know you guys didn't want any of the grandkids in the hospital room to see him because you were afraid of our reactions, but you eventually let me in for a few minutes. That's right. And I overheard the doctors talking, and the treatment they were talking about had nothing to do with pneumonia. I'm sorry, son. I couldn't tell you what really happened all those years ago. But I guess it's time you know the truth. So Grandpa didn't die of pneumonia? No. Your grandfather, he... I'm terribly sorry. The Pope is on the other line. I know this is very important to you, but is it okay if we talk about this later? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't want to keep the Pope waiting. I'm very sorry, son. Talk to you soon. Pax Tecum. Goodbye, Dad. Boss, I did it! The program is done! Oh boy, TV!